Welcome to Wheelock. Today, we will show you some of the most astonishing moments on the road captured on camera. These individuals demonstrate how sometimes being at the right place at the right time can truly make all the difference. Let's get it on. If you're aware of a stock train or prolonged blockage, consider finding an alternate route to avoid the crossing altogether. That had left the left lane blocked for a street sweeper. This guy was kind of driving close behind another one, so he did not have the time to move over. Then the sedan decided to flee the scene. Hopefully, they'll be found soon. If you change lanes without using your turn signals or providing sufficient notice, other drivers may not be aware of your intentions. Either not matching the throttle to the shift or forgetting which is clutch and which is brake. Anyway, I'm glad it's alright. Oops, it's a bit embarrassing to say this, but I used to like him. Well, anyone can lose control negotiating the bends. Be careful, guys. Who is at fault? Let me know your opinion in the comments. Before changing lanes, check your blind spots by looking over your shoulder. It takes no time at all. This guy was chased by the police before driving into the tower barrier. No one was hurt. Oh, keep a calm and focused mind when merging lanes. Avoid distractions and stay attentive to your surroundings. Oh, Folks, when navigating coughs, especially on wet roads, slow down. Um, I always slow down when I cross intersections because of this. Adjusting your speed according to road conditions is a fundamental aspect of saving winter driving. So slow down, bro. This white GMC Arcadia was stolen by suspect. Police then performed the successful PIT maneuver. The vehicle rotated clockwise and left the roadway. Man, before hitting the road, double check that all doors are securely closed and latched. Pray for the driver. This happened on September 21st, 2021 in Colorado, just before 8.30 a.m. Oh dear, glad everyone is safe. A 
tree fell off due to a high wind and fell directly onto the moving car. Nobody was injured. And this is the same case. Hopefully the car owner has purchased insurance. Hope they're fine. Kudos everyone came to help. Oh no, it seemed that he lost focus. I hope he's alright. Man, if making a left turn, yield to upcoming traffic. Wait for a safe gap before initiating the turn. This incident occurred on 17 December 2023 in Fairbanks at the corner of airport and S. Koshman. No one was hurt. A driver went into a light pool, then cut off five lanes of traffic to drive away. He slid, which could mean he had bad tires. Had the other car not arrived, she would only stop going round and round when she had run out of fuel. Oh, I'm more amazed that they didn't lose it when they lost the wheel. Speed was probably the major factor here as he passed heading off and was traveling at a very high speed. I watched it a few times, uh, what actually happened? Was the car backing out of the driveway or something? To bikers, never overtaken a blind curve cause it will cost a fine day. Now you have to buy a $4 can of paints for the booba. Great outcome. This is the moment a rubbish truck side sweeped a parked car in Melbourne. He should have stayed at home. This car got a surprise rear end kiss. Every drive out there has an unpredictable moment. No, sir, it's not against the law to tow a boat, but we do require you to put it on a trailer. This happened in Mexico. It's like a real life action movie, but with way more consequences. Drive safe wherever you are because trains always win the game. Wow, regardless of who was at fault, this was a fairly good outcome as it could have been much more worse. Wow, man, good to see he pulled out well and people came to his assistance. Hey bro, keeping a safe distance on the road is like having a buffer zone against chaos. That poor Tesla. This small patch of road is risky. Oh, for real? Keeping a safe distance isn't just a suggestion, it's common sense. Hmm, 
Usually, when you drive an automobile, you're supposed to keep your eyes open. This truck did fit, but his loads just didn't. Whoops, looks like only a 2 second gap. That's why a 3 second gap at minimum is recommended. No, tipper lorry drivers at high speed should correct this. Maybe he has been sleeping on autopilot. Bro, I know it. That feeling of helplessness when you see an approaching car and there's no way to dodge it. The amount of time the siren was audible was probably too short for either of them to react properly. Instead of arguing for petty issues, all parties involved should have used this as a learning experience. Amazing what people do to try and make a missed exit. So no skating here. Oops. Let's hung that curve like a long lost friend and let's avoid turning the street into a geometry challenge. Wow, a real life fast and furious moment. Everyone's okay, but seriously, who needs a bridge duel? Zounds, how drunk was he? Well, we're on a red light. That happens every time I get in my car here in Beaverton, Oregon. And this is the same case. Oh, I'm not sure what this Honda was doing. That tire was moving really fast. Good job swerving out of the way. How does one collide with a pool that's basically standing still? Maybe it's different in other states, but isn't it the rule that semis can't go past first two lanes? Yep, you will never comprehend the driver's thoughts. Well, check this out. A rare sight. Kudos to that driver for not playing the blame game and taking responsibility. This is a daily fear of mine. Most are tires that are much more older than they appear. No, bro, we don't provide drive through service. I feel so many are getting their licenses and jumping straight into the vehicles. Oh no, clearly not watching the traffic in front. Wow, out of nowhere, a car pops in in front of the fast moving truck. It's like they're playing a real life game of chickens. Oh, good thing he went into the central area instead of into all those waiting at the traffic light. Stop! Stop! 
By the way, I want to ask, what brand straps were you all using? Controlling your vehicle isn't just a skill, it's a responsibility. lost the ladder on I-10. This car went the wrong way north in the fast lane of I-380 south in Cedar Rapids. He ended up colliding with a semi, causing cones to spill out on the highway. Oh dear, that's why you don't put gas in a diesel truck. I bet he didn't just have to replace the tire but the wheel as well. Mile on the pass. Bravo, it's a wonder no one was injured. He had six seconds to react from the time the truck started moving to his lane, but he was going straight into the truck, slow down instead of depending on the horns and brakes. A driver in the front was just waiting at the traffic lights when he was collided by the assailant, but it was a great thing that the police officer was nearby. Stay a lot. That mess buying attention are like bad movies. Nobody wants to see them. Do you not stop for a school boss? Not often a cop is seen at the right place at the right time, so I feel good. Whose fault would he have been? Let me know in the comments. Heavens, he clearly knows there's no turning back, so he just went on with it, knowing that he'll end up being fined anyway. I wonder why that pickup truck has a crease along the left rear fender. It might not be the driver's first time with this maneuver. Oh mine, ease up on the gas pedal, bro. Oh, rare end collisions are unwelcome surprises we can avoid. No drive safe out there. Seabone collisions are not in anyone wants on their daily commute. Um, back when I learned to drive, a red light means stop. Does it mean something different now or have the rules changed? This is the difference between someone who has passed their test and someone who is a competent driver. Well played bro. Hey bro, turning a two-lane road into a three-lane one ain't gonna happen. Now the towed vehicle can become the towed vehicle. Hmm, I know from a reliable source that SAAP is no longer active. They had him waited for a few seconds as he looked to be pretty clear right after. Just need to be more patient no matter how many cars are waiting around you. I really hope he pulled over and made this video available to the police and both drivers insurance companies. <laughs> I hope the next video involves less wreckage. Drive safe America. You can see the train dragging a car that stopped on the tracks in Edmonds, USA. A single engine airplane was in trouble on the 91 freeway in Corona and then burst into flames. Thankfully, everyone was able to walk away unharmed. Mm. 
no one was hurt in this case. You can see the car weaving left to right. Maybe the person in the car had a medical episode or was either on his phone or drunk. But the truck driver did a great job. No one gives way in all directions. Has anyone had a collision at a roundabout like that? Oh man, of course it's wet. Muddy, slippery and the road is slightly inclined towards the gully. That was to be expected. When the bridge is hungry, it will eat. Watch as the canopy now lures in an unsuspecting moving truck and chews off the roof. I don't know when the incident happened, but the after effects will not appear until a long time later. So please take care of yourself. The finish line is here. Don't forget to give us a like button and share your road encounters in the comments and don't miss the video on the right side of your screen. See you soon.